Hey guys, it's Drew. I got another unboxing video I'm going to do on another Dow Strong cookware product. I got lots of Dow Strong stuff, as my cutting board right here would suggest, as well as my knife block that's up here that's right out of camera view. Um, so this one's going to be on the Dow Strong Avalon series, which is their higher quality series stock pot, five quart, five ply, copper core stock pot, and a hammered silver finish. So that is a mouthful. So let's get started opening this up and just showing you what's inside the package as if it was brand new. So as soon as you open it, there's a little booklet. I'm going to set that aside. We'll get to that in a second. There's some tissue paper that's right here. I'm going to back this camera out slightly so you can kind of see what's going on. Oh, it's even tape. I'm going to just rip that. All right, with that, I'm just going to back the camera up a bit, pull this away in its entirety, throw aside that tissue paper that's just going to get in the way. All right, so here's what's inside the package as you open it. All right, so we have the lid here, solid steel. The only complaint that I had about the lids in the Avalon series, and it's not really so much a complaint, but the only thing that's, I guess, more in my head is that I'm used to the knob on the lids kind of going through and then there being like a bolt or a screw that comes out the center on the other side. Um, this obviously doesn't have that, so it's got probably got to be some kind of a epoxied on there sort of deal, which is fine. Um, I just, in my head, and again, that's why I'm keep reiterating it's in my head, is it just makes me feel like it's going to pop off one day if I'm boiling some, you know, water for spaghetti. I have it on there and I'm just like, all right, you know, let me grab this off and pop and then, you know, the damn lid stays and the uh, knob pops off so set that aside that's all that's in this piece right here so we're throw that cardboard away and we also have this little packaging here and that's all that's involved in that so this is wrapped up as well and here's the actual pot itself with a pot protector and as you can see here it's dirty and the reason why is because it's not brand new. I literally put it back in the box just to kind of show you how it would come. Uh, however, I tried to do a quick seasoning of this and had some some minor issues. Um, so that's something that I definitely kind of want to address in the video. And you might have seen on the lid as well how it's a little spotty. If you look kind of closer, some spottiness on it. Yeah, that's that's me. It's not because it's new. It definitely came looking brand new. So setting that aside again. Let's look at this box on the back of it. What it says is the big advantages of this particular cookware here. Um, I'm going to ignore all the writing up here because it's just silly marketing stuff. So it says it's got the copper core and it's five ply. So as the picture shows right up here with the five ply, it's got stainless steel on the inside and on the outside. Then it's got aluminum and aluminum on the each side, I'm sorry, on the inside of each stainless steel piece. And then in the center, it's copper. So it's steel, aluminum, copper, aluminum, steel, hence the five ply. So it's clad just like all clad cookware and, and other higher quality cookwares and, and the like. And you can actually see that on the sides of these Dow Strong pans. If you look very, very carefully up here where my thumb is, you can kind of see the line of copper that's fairly thin if this will kind of focus on it a bit. So the, the line of copper in there. And then of course the aluminum and then the steel. But it's rather thin, however it does exist of course. So it's there. So you can see the cladding on it. So pulling this box back to kind of get to the other things that they're saying. They're saying it's unrivaled conductivity. That's because the cladding, which is well known across all the the uh, five clad kind of cookware across multiple different brands. It claims it's heavy gauge. I will say that all clad cookware is a thicker gauge of copper uh, than Dow Strong. Um, I only have one all clad pan currently, so and, and it's a frying pan, so it's kind of hard to compare to a uh, five ply copper core uh, stock pot. Uh, saying it's non reactive because the material, so it's not going to have any of these potentially toxic coatings that's on a non-stick pan like this, which is not Dow Strong, it's just here for an example. So um, if you cook in high heat or try to fry something in a non-stick pan, of course, it can have some reactive 
materials in the coating and it could get into your food and it's potentially toxic. Um, so that's actually the allure of stainless steel pans and pots in general, and which is why I actually made this purchase for this one. So it says it's uh, flared up for drip free pouring, which since it is used, as you could see from the, uh, <clears throat> basically how stained I currently have it, is that the edges on this pot do flare out. So, I mean, they are rolling off the side here for drip free pouring is what they're claiming. So that is uh, that is accurate. Uh, oven safe, of course, I haven't thrown it in the oven. I'm literally just making spaghetti and boiling water and things of the like in it myself. Dishwasher safe, I hand wash all my pans and knives just because my knives, uh, especially the Dow Strong knives that I have here, which is just their standard knife set they're in their Gladiator series. Uh, I think it's an 18 piece set that I have. I'll do a separate video on, but they're all, um, the, the, you're supposed to hand wash your knives, your carbon steels and things like that, that can rust. So I've been in the habit of hand washing all of my stuff. And uh, so this just kind of carried on with that. Um, it says responsive design. All right, whatever nonstick covered rivets. All right. These rivets right here on the inside of the pan where the handles are going to connect. And as you can see with the handles design on how it's, let me put it here how it's squared off but it doesn't connect right on the opposite sides of the square it kind of is offset a bit that actually helps with the handles not having as much heat retained in them or not transferring the heat as much all right we'll go back to high walls for protection of course it's a stock pot you need the high walls and, and of course it's rolled over with the uh, non-drip edge uh, double handles for ease of use of course you know the, the larger stock pot like this being a, a five quart needs to have a higher edge in order to maintain that. There it is, actually, I just remembered. We do have the measurements built into the side of this in liters. So it goes one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, and four liters for the stock pot. So four liters, five quarts. So that is what it goes off of here. It's so going back to the other side of this where it says double handle, stainless steel lid, of course, which we've covered which is, it's got a little bit of jiggle in it, but that's gonna be good for when you have the, the high heat anyways. And it's got a little vent hole bored into it already, uh, right there. So the little vent hole, it's nice and easy, very simple. So that's gonna be it for that. So I'm gonna say how I messed this part up here on why it looks the way that it looks. So I seen some videos uh, through Dow Strong's videos and as well as some other companies, or I'm sorry, some other YouTubers that reviewed um, these particular products. And let me hit this light here. So there we go. It'll be a little bit easier to see it, hopefully. And do a slight zoom in. So the other companies and YouTubers that I've seen that were doing reviews of, you know, either Dow Strong pans or other companies' pans that was trying to make their stainless steel non-stick or season them per se. Uh, would do a mix of a, of a good high smoke point oil and or like salt and things of the like and you know get do their good uh, scrub on the inside of the pan after they get it on some heat for a little bit uh, so I gave that a whirl with this just to kind of do it because I was doing it around the same time as my other Avalon series pan came in which is a 12 inch frying pan that I have a video up on uh, that's an unboxing as well as kind of a tabletop initial thoughts thing before I was using it a lot. Uh, so I was doing that and I tried to do it on this as well. And this down here is just some oil that managed to stick. Um, I've tried to scratch at it with some stainless materials and you can see the scratches that are clearly going along it. I've tried to clean it. Um, I've let it soak for a really long time. I've put it on high heat with just some water and tried to let it go. So it's a pain in the butt to get off. Um, I'm hoping I didn't really like mess it up at all. I don't think I did because it's, I mean, it's, this is a hefty pan. I mean, and it looks good on the, the side. The sides look really good. I like the hammered finish. I like how it's like five different kind of finishes on how it looks. Cause it's got the brushed, it's got, um, I'm sorry. It's got like the more reflective than the brushed. And then it's got the hammered brushed reflective kind of steel. Of course, it's definitely been used as you can probably dictate. It's gotten a fair amount of use. I just still happen to have the box, which is why I threw it back in there best as I could. And actually one thing that I realized it's not that I didn't have still 
was this baggie here that the stock pot was in. I believe there was a second uh, a secondary bag that was the exact same, just smaller, that had the lid in it as well, just to kind of keep it all separate. So the packaging for these things is really solid when you buy them and you put the money out for this kind of stuff. Um, there was only one of these uh, separators for the pots. And I think when it comes to these Dowstrom pans, I do have a smaller stock pot as well. Uh, I believe this is a three quart. Is it? Uh, I think it's a three quart where it's a little different. It doesn't have the other handle on the other side. It's just got a longer handle, which I do like from these. So if you were to, you know, combine them, at least you're not dinging up the inside too much, but yeah, is what it is. So the three quart has been working great for me. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. The five quart, uh, like I said, I just tried to do the seasoning thing. I've made spaghetti in it a couple of times and some, some other various pastas and I was trying to make a soup once and then of course that's when I was like, all right, there's some stuff sticking at the bottom. Let me try to do this whole seasoning thing and got to this point. So if you have any recommendations on something that you think I might have done wrong, please leave a comment of it below so I can try to fix this. Otherwise, I'm just going to boil up some water and uh, see if I can give it a good scrub and uh, just keep at it like that. But I do still stand by Dow Strong products. I've been buying them for a very long time now. Um, let's pop inside this book that it came with real quick for the Avalon. Got a nice little pasta mix with some reading material on the side here that I'm not going to get into. You can pause it if you want to read it. Just kind of goes into some of their marketing stuff when they're saying about the design, uh, crafted cookware to be legendary. All right, so let's see. It's got features and benefits, care and use, VIP rewards, which actually is pretty good if you go on their website and you make purchases direct from their website. It's shipped and sold from Amazon, and then they have their VIP rewards as well. Um, yep, it goes into the five ply. There's actually a better picture here that uh, kind of shows the the steel, aluminum, copper, aluminum, steel. All right, a couple more images there. Care and use, how to prep it. I'm definitely going to pop this through and, and read through it again because it's saying to, let me see, cup of vinegar, or quarter cup of vinegar. And, uh, rinse thoroughly, dry with the towel. Yeah, I'll give this a, a whirl and look through it again, but again, leave a comment if you have any idea of something that I could do to uh, clean out what I currently got, make it look brand new again. It's showing the Avalon and the Oberon series here. I have both of, I'm sorry, this saute frying pan from the Oberon, and then this 12-inch skillet pan and the Avalon, which I use this 12-inch skillet pan all the time. It is great. Highly recommend it. So I got the three-quart sauce pot, which I just pulled out, as well as, of course, the five-quart that I'm working on trying to restore it to its former glory. I've had it for, I don't know, it's probably been two months now, maybe two months, and it's been working pretty great. Uh, other Dow Strong stuff, they got the cutting board. This, this cutting board here in the XL is actually something I'm really trying to get in the future, except it's like 200 bucks for a cutting board, which isn't crazy, or which is crazy. Uh, yeah, here we go, you can get up, you can get 10% off, and I think they do a military or law enforcement discount or something now too, where you can get a 10% off coupon in addition to points that you get and all that type of stuff for doing their VIP, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool to be able to find something on sale, get another 10% off, and then try to use some points to help out even more so. So that's my initial uh, tabletop review and makeshift unboxing, even though as I've stated, it's been unboxed and used before. I think this looks really, really good. I like the steel versus the more non-stick stuff. This is a completely different brand. It was at Circulon. I think this is something I got at Costco years ago. I mean, it's generally held up, but when it comes to boiling water, um, and I'll just say this part before I get off, when it comes to boiling water in a non-stick pan, like this kind of material here from this other brand, Circulon, if you have a stock pot in the non-stick material and then you boil water, you know, say about halfway up, then you'll see the... Uh, like some kind of film coming off the sides of the pan and that, that just grosses me out because then it gets in your noodles and everything and it's, you just feel like you got to throw the whole damn thing away. So that's about it. just wanted to uh, do a little showcase of this. So make sure you leave a comment if you know something I could do better to, well, I guess take care of and try to clean this staining out of the stainless steel pan. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to see more content like this. I try to do reviews of a lot of different things around the house that I either 
uh, like or you know have problems with whatever I try to be as unbiased as possible none of this stuff is sponsored uh, that's it guys so leave a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one